in 2023 this was the question which was asked in uh, mathematics part from arithmetic progression now on the basis of the difficulty level of this question we are going to discuss the most expected questions in tet 2024 in this session okay so before that i want to remind you all to please subscribe to our channel and also share our videos among other aspirants and help them and also you can join our telegram channel and telegram group you will get the link of that group and channel in the description below so that you can join that and you can have a direct interaction with us we can also discuss together in clearing the doubts related to tet and other teacher recruitment exams like hstr and gpstr okay in fact we take paid courses for tet gpstr and hstr so if any one of you are interested you can contact to us on this whatsapp number uh, but you need to write only message calling is not allowed to this number okay so please message us at 9110558369 or you can also write to us an email relating to your query our email id is ataharthstr courses okay ataharthstr courses at the rate gmail.com okay now coming back to our session actually we have been discussing about arithmetic progression already in this youtube channel as a free class right we have uploaded the arithmetic progression class recently in that we have discussed many problems easy to difficult but in this session i am going to discuss a few such type of questions which are most expected in 2024 as well as those which are not from the previous class okay because i believe that by attending our previous class of arithmetic progression anyone can answer the simpler or difficult questions from arithmetic progression but there are few unique type of questions which we would like to discuss here in this session okay now let us see the first expected question from this chapter okay the question is find the sum of first 40 positive integers divisible by 6 now in this type of a question first you need to make the arithmetic progression right because they have not given arithmetic progression in the question but they are given us clue that this we have to find the sum of first positive integers divisible by 6 okay so you can go on writing till the first positive integers but you don't need to write so much right because we need to know only the first two three numbers in the arithmetic progression in order to find the uh, common difference right now what you have to do is you need to first to find the last term right so multiply 6 and 40 you will get 240 so this will be your last term okay then you need to write the first three terms maybe okay so they are divisible by 6 right so just write table of 6 6 ones are 6 6 twos are 12 6 threes are 18 so much is enough now a is 6 and d also will be equal to 12 minus 6 and it will be 6 only now we need to find the sum of 40 terms right so sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d just to substitute okay s 40 will be equal to what is n 40 by 2 2 into 6 plus n is 40 minus 1 into 6 so this will give 2 ones are 220 is here you will have 20 here you will have 12 here you will have 39 into 6 or 20 into 12 plus 234 and 20 into 246 if you multiply you will get 4920 okay so this is the most expected question this time in case they ask a, a difficult question from arithmetic progression okay if they ask a easy question you will be anyway able to answer with the previous class of arithmetic progression but in case they ask a difficult question this session will help you in that matter okay clear right next important and uh, expected question from the difficulty level of the question point of view okay in case they ask a difficult question they may ask a question like this find the sum of a plus b comma a minus b comma a minus 3b till 22 terms so what you have to do here is first you see the arithmetic progression and uh, 
find out the first term. First term is a plus b now. Okay. What about the common difference? Uh, it will be second term minus first term, right? So it will be a minus b minus a plus b. So our common difference should be a minus b minus a minus b. So this thing will get cancelled and our common difference will be minus 2b. Okay, clear, right? Now, once we have the common difference, we know that Sn is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 into d, right? Now, substitute the values, okay? So, we know that uh, n is equal to 22, right? So, this will be 22 by 2 into 2 into what is a in place of a? I should write a plus b as per the question plus n is 22 minus 1 into in place of d I should write minus 2b. Okay, so this will be 11 into 2 into a plus b plus 21 into minus 2b. So this will be equal to 11 into 2a plus 2b minus 42b. So this should be equal to 11 into 2a minus 40b because 42 and 2b, we have minus 42 plus 2b. That will give us minus 40b. This is equal to 22a minus 11 fours of 44, 440b. This should be our answer. This is our SN. Okay. So, here common difference is minus 2b. We have a minus sign here. Okay. Because a, a will get cancelled, right? This thing will get cancelled. And we will have minus 2b as common difference. Okay, clear, right? So, they will give you four options. A, B, C, D. In that one of the option will be 22A minus 440B. Okay, that will be the correct answer. Okay, clear, right? So, this is one of the, you can say, tough question from TET level. Okay, in case they ask a tough question, they will ask a question like this. Okay. Another most expected question. Find the middle term of the AP. 1, 8, 15, dash, 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 dash till 505. So, here the question is we need to find the middle term. But in order to find the middle term, I should know the number of terms. Then only I can find the middle term, right? So, number of terms if I know, then only I can find the middle term. So, my aim is first to find N. Okay, now we have the arithmetic progression 1, 8, 15 till 505. So, my A is 1 here and common difference is 8 minus 1 which is equal to 7. So, my Tn will be equal to A plus N minus 1 into D. But Tn I have, they have given the nth term which is 505. But I don't know the number of terms. Okay, so here A is 1 plus n minus 1 into what is common difference? It is 7. Okay. So, 5 not 5 I can send 1 uh, on the other side. So, I will get uh, n minus 1 into 7 or n minus 1 into 7 is equal to 5 not 4 or n minus 1 is equal to 5 not 4 by 7 or n minus 1 is equal to 7 7 is a 49, 7 2 is a 14 n is equal to 72 plus 1 or is equal to 73. Okay, now I got the nth term, right? n is equal to 73, right? Now, if I have n is equal to 73, what will be the middle term? Middle term will be equal to 73 by 2. So, I will take as 37th term. That will be the middle term. Now, I can easily find Tn is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d where n is 37 because I have to find the middle term. T37 is equal to what is a 1? What is n? n is 37 which we have found and d is 7. So, T37 is equal to 1 plus 36 into 7 which will give me 1 plus 252 or 253. So, that will be my answer. Okay, clear, right? So, this is a, a lengthy sum and it difficult sum only but in case they ask a tough question from arithmetic progression you will be able to answer the questions in this manner okay clear right so the aim of this session was to give you few tough questions and their solutions from arithmetic progression from 
DD point of view. Okay, clear, right? So here is your assignment. I am giving you 2023 question as assignment. Solve it and write your answer in the comment section. Okay. So I want to remind you all to please subscribe my channel and also share my videos among your friends and other TET aspirants. And if you are liking my work, please like the video and also give your feedback in the comment section. Okay. So if you want the next session of this series, which is the part 5, then you have to give your response in the form of likes and comments. Okay. So I am expecting 200 likes for this video and I will be making the next part when I see that 200 like buttons are hit for this video. Okay then. Please do subscribe and also join our telegram channel and keep working hard. Thank you. All the best. Bye.